is also something of a phenomenon, although he's not a giant toad. Do you remember this? Remember you're a wombo. Remember you're a wombo. Remember you're a wombo. Remember you're a wombo. The Wombles there, those furry, knee-high superstars of the 70s. But whatever happened to them? Well... I'm very lucky to have in the studio with me this evening one of the original Wombles from those heady days. It's Orinoco. Orinoco Womble, welcome. Hi. So listening to that song of yours, it, it seems such a long time ago, doesn't it? Do you remember when you were a Womble? Uh, <laughs> not really. <laughs> I remember the groupies, the money and the drugs. Right. And so sharks in suits pretending to be our friends and smiling while they stabbed us in the back. In and out and in and out. Right, so and uh, in and out. I remember the ruined friendships and marriages, the hope giving way to bottomless despair. I see you remember quite a lot then. It's just a blur. Yeah, but where did it all go wrong? Well, I was very young. I mean, some of the older guys, Tobermory, Great Uncle Bulgaria. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they were more rooted, but the sudden fame just totally spoiled me. We did this uh, TV series called um, The Wombles. Um, yeah, yeah. And I just thought it was such a sellout. Oh, the cute Wombles, the cuddly Wombles. <laughs> I was always trying to change the scripts. Yeah. The stories were so bland. Uh, but the suits would be saying, Oh, people don't want to see a Womble orgy. You know, or, 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 oh, a Womble firing squad is going to affect wrapping paper sales. Uh, so I started rebelling. So, so how, how did you start with that? Well, uh, I'm not proud of this. Uh, I started littering. Wow, littering. Now, that must have been quite something for a womble. Uh, tell me about it. I mean, you know, I started small. Yeah. I'd drop a cotton bud here, a sweet wrapper there, but pretty soon I was uh, tossing crisp packets around like confetti. Mm. Then I started throwing confetti around like confetti. It just got worse and worse. So, so what did you do? Did you feel the need to get help? I was in womble hell. Yeah. No one could get near me. The low point came when I stole a council rubbish lorry and found myself on my way to do some fly tipping in an area of outstanding natural beauty. So, so what happened? Well, that was the wake-up call. I left the band and went into rehab, and since then... I've been living in a forest in Lanarkshire doing charity work, uh, collecting acorns for disabled squirrels. You know, it's, um, it's given me meaning back to my life. Oh, that's fantastic. I like to hear a happy ending, but that's not actually the end, is it? Because now you're about to make a bit of a comeback, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, 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 uh, but on my terms this time. Mm -hmm. I'm releasing a solo album and I'm really pleased with it. OK, speaking of which, it's called Orinoco Poco Loco. And it's not, I think, what Wombles fans might expect. Womble fans, do not buy this record. <laughs> OK, let's listen to an extract from a track. <laughs> And that track's called... Forget That I'm a Womble. It's certainly a departure. Yeah, that's the only ballad on the album. Well, we wish you the very best with it. Orinoco Womble, thank you. Thank you, Kevin. So... Uh, have you finished that coffee? Uh, yes. Right, well, uh, into the bin with a cup, please. Oh, sorry, yes. So. <coughs> Let's have a little bit more of that track. So, if I can just repeat your orders, 